So Jaseki is this is this stack that uh, we've gotten involved in as well, and um, that's that's now taking. I, I would say that it's taking the world by storm, and it's creating a lot of impact here back in Ghana, of course. And we're actively engaged in this partnership where to to further the mission of of Jaseki Labs. There's also this ripple ripple effect whereby it's creating impact back home here in Ghana uh, to to create opportunity through the upskilling of local talent in the field of AI. And these guys are um, we just finished up an apprenticeship program. The focus there is more on the industry level whereby these these engineers were able to build these amazing products over a matter of three months and then um, and then they're being they're being hired now. So they're they're seeding. Uh, the uh, a team, a, a specialized Jaseki engineering team based in Guyana, that is that is going to be delivering towards the Jaseki Labs mission, and and even the V75 Inc mission because we're we're still um, offering our our services to to clientele as well within the AI space. There's a there's something really special happening. Um, so ever since I partnered with Eldon, we've had this joint mission of almost demonstrating to the world that there's no there's no borders when it comes to technology like it's 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 one of the most democratic democratized things right because as long as you have a computer and an inquisitive mind that's where all of the biggest companies come from recently uh we've been collaborating on creating this technology stack that's open source it's open to the world anyone can use it and it's a technology stack that it, that enables you to to program the most sophisticated AI products. Uh, and so we, we've taken the stack and we used it to teach those 200 um, uh, students in Guyana through the Spark program, uh, where we taught this Jaseki programming language and stack. Uh, and there were high school kids. There were like, you know, there were some people that are at college level, some high school young folks. And the outlet of that program was a cohort of of really the the stars of the program really that then did the apprenticeship program to take those skills even further so it's really a an outlet and it's it's a it's it's a demonstration of the success of this challenge can you take smart young people and teach them to build ai products now there's a team out of those 10 that are working on sophisticated AI technology for real customers all over the world. So, uh, and these are startups. These are some of the savviest folks. They're paying hundreds and thousands of dollars, right? To, 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 to work with Guyanese young people that came through this upskilling journey that started in the summer and now has culminated to these folks actively gainfully employed to, to create AI technologies for the most cutting edge startups. And so, and so there's such a demand that the more we can do this program, it should be a continual inlet from the school systems that stream through this. And we produce these super talented individuals as a continual outlet every year. Um, so, so that's absolutely the, the, the vision and really our ambition Mine and Eldon's, and this is why we're kind of brothers uh, uh, from another mother. Our ambition is to spark a Silicon Valley ultimately in Guyana. We want entrepreneurs, we want founders, we want people creating their own technologies in Guyana and selling it to the world where, where the money goes into Guyana. Because if you look at the top companies, the, 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 the companies that drive our economy, our world economy, they're all tech companies. Like oil is great, but the real oil is actually technology and software and computer science. And so we want to kind of spark that oil well um, ultimately. But this is this is how we step toward there. We've got to create these pipelines where you can upskill folks to be competitive at the highest level. Part and parcel of this mission is to create local outlets for the talent to be retained. And this is what we've been doing ever since 2018 with, with much success. Hopefully, if we can scale this up, and we, we definitely plan to do that given the, the, the approach that we've, we've taken, we can look at a, a larger number of our, of our tertiary educated nationals on, and those talented individuals who may not have come through those traditional channels 
being pulled into this particular um, field uh, of this bleeding edge technology and all the opportunities that come with it. So do we retain the talents and help them and have them build, help to build it to the local tech ecosystem? Because there's just tons of opportunities and it, it is the field to be in, you know, of the day of the, of the era, to be honest. Yeah.